this example, I want to show how you can retrieve the top crash from Google Cloud Observability Error Reporting using the Observability extension, and then delegate the error investigation and the fix to a Jules agent. And the repository in this example is the backend of the e-commerce app, which is written primarily in Java. I have to note that you'll need to install the Google Cloud's Observability extension to access the corresponding MCP tools. So we're going to start by asking about the top error in my Google Cloud project in the last 30 days. Okay, I see some stack traces here. And it seems like there's an arithmetic exception that fired 232 times. And yeah, we can see the full stack trace here as well. So I'll request to actually have Jules working on this issue. I need to make sure that Jules has access to the full stack trace. I also need to make sure that Jules adds the unit test to prevent this bug from resurfacing later. Okay, perfect. I see that Jules kicked off the new task. Let's take a look at it in the Jules console. Perfect. The task prompt has all the necessary details. While Jules is working on this task, I can work on the new feature locally in parallel. Okay, let's see if there are any updates on our task. I can just use natural language to describe my previously given request. Okay, seems like it's completed. Jules is now going to pull the diff patch. I want to publish the changes to a new branch so that, that I can properly review them. And let's name the branch exception fix. Okay, let's take a look at this. So looking at the fix, it seems like there was a division by zero. And I just realized that there was a bug that Jules fixed a few lines below where the item price was set incorrectly. And apparently I didn't have a unit test for this file altogether. So Jules took care of it. And the rest of the files seem like some generated artifacts. The changes look good. So I'm going to go ahead and create a pull request and then um, and merge it. Great. And with that, we'll fix the top detected issue from Google Cloud error reporting.